awakening and day four. And if you remember the pattern from previous weeks on day four, we talk about breakthrough prayer. Prayer that helps us break through what might hold us back. And in this case, hold us back from real love. And online, I found a prayer by, and I'll probably mispronounce her name, but Bobby Shankperketter, and I apologize if I've slaughtered that. But a beautiful prayer, a breakthrough prayer, as I would call it, about discovering God's love at Christmas. And I just simply invite you to close your eyes and listen in and pray this with me as we pray together. Heavenly Father, the whole meaning of Christmas can be explained in one little word, love. You sent your love, your gift of pure love to us on that very first Christmas. Love descended from heaven to be born of a virgin. Love lay in that scratchy hay of a manger in a meager barn in Bethlehem. All of your love, God, was robed in the delicate skin of a baby and wrapped in swaddling clothes. This final week of Advent, help us to reflect on the magnitude of your love that was made manifest in Jesus. Your word became flesh, and you made your dwelling among us when Jesus was born. You set aside all the glory and splendor of heaven and chose the most humble way to enter your kingdom. Beneath the stars, surrounded by all the hosts of heaven, love came, welcomed by an eternity, by an earthly father and mother. Shepherds and wise men, love came. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Messiah, the ruler of all, and yet you came not as a lion, but as a lamb. You came as an innocent baby whose purpose was to walk this earth in complete love and then sacrificially to give his life as an atonement of the sins of his children. Emmanuel, God with us, love in human form. Well, that was all your plan from the beginning to the end. You knew every minute of Jesus' life. You knew that the cross of Calvary was awaiting for Jesus, and yet you still sent your son so that our debt of sin could be paid and that we could walk blameless because of the blood he shed. There is no greater gift than this, that, we, that a man should lay down, that a person should lay down his life for his friends. You willingly gave this gift, this gift of your life because of your love. Your righteous blood covered our sin. You redeem and restore when we confess you as Lord and Savior of our lives. In that moment, you give the gift of your love for all eternity. We receive grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy in that very moment. The greatest gift came that first Christmas. It wasn't wrapped in a beautiful package and set under a decorated tree. The greatest gift came wrapped in the flesh of baby Jesus and laid in a manger. Our perfect gift would later be rewrapped in the scars of our sin and nailed on the rugged wood of a cross on Calvary, but all because of love. Father, this final week of Advent, fill our hearts, fill our minds with the significance of and the magnitude of this truth. Thank you, Lord, for loving us enough to send Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray.